Hey, Sandy and I just got back from vacation last week. And I gotta say, you know, I, I love being able to get away and just changing our pace, but I love coming home too. And I'm not blowing smoke when I say that man, I missed MCC. So thank you for being a family. I look forward to coming home too. Hey, this week I got to participate in a worship and prayer service with other pastors here in Miamisburg for our schools, for the administration and teachers and staff. It was pretty great to be in a room of people from our school system who are trusting God and working to honor Him and how they lead our school and lead our classrooms. One of the songs we sang was called The Blessing, and I didn't know the song, but I sure recognized the scripture it reflected. And the words of the song, maybe you'll recognize them are, the Lord bless you and keep you, make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. Amen. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing. He is for you. He is for you. Amen. You know, I love that we sang a blessing based on Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26 over our teachers. And so you know, you have been part of God's blessing that He is singing over them by providing school supplies for their students. This past week, I also got to be with seven folks from MCC who came over to put the supplies in the backpacks for first and third graders. Thank you for being the blessing God sang over our kiddos and their families right here in the Berg. But you were also part of God's blessing on people in Kentucky who are trying to put their lives back together uh, after the flooding. And we had a team here Tuesday night packing the trailer with supplies that, that will head out. Uh, and we received over $1,600 this weekend to help get our teams get there and to help provide for unexpected needs of those again in Kentucky. So thank you for being part of the blessing that God sang over those who need help right now in Kentucky. And this past Sunday, we began a three week ministry fair. You know, Peter wrote to the early church and us today that each of you has been blessed with one of God's many wonderful gifts to be used in the service of others. So use your gift well. Hey, when you serve here at MCC, you are part of the blessing that God is singing over our first time guests and people who are trying to figure Jesus out and our children, as well as new and long time disciples of Jesus. So if you didn't get a chance to stop by the tables, talk to one of our staff, volunteer leaders who were there to introduce their ministry areas to you, answer any questions that you might have, and maybe pick up a cookie or a cupcake or a piece of candy, I hope you will this week. Or, or you can scan the QR code in my email uh, to either note that you want to check out a ministry or let us know that you want to be part of what God is doing through MCC. So this weekend, while that continues, this weekend I get to kick off a series about three words that strike fear in some people's lives. If you had to guess what those three little words are, what would you say? You know, some of us, when we read those three little words, we just kind of sit back and stare at them. And we sweat a little bit. When you buy a grill at the hardware store, those words are right there. When you buy a crib for your baby, those words are staring at you when it arrives. Those three little words are some assembly required. You know, it's interesting to me that there are other people who don't have that fear at all. When it comes to cars, I have a friend named Tim. He takes them all the way down to the ground, to nothing. They're just parts laying all over the place. And then he brings them all back up. It's pretty cool to see the work he does. Usually, you know, we lean one way or the other, but most of life is some assembly required. So is our faith. It doesn't just happen to you. You don't just sit in church once a week and bingo, bingo, bongo, you're a growing follower of Jesus. Now, I wanna be real clear. This isn't about earning your salvation. Rather, for those who have already given their lives to Jesus, what we're going to talk about beginning this Sunday and for the next four weeks are habits that help us become more like Him. So listen, whether you're with us online or on campus this weekend, I'm looking forward to seeing you.